I really don't like performative activism. So when I saw the whole Blackout Tuesday thing and people posting black squares and infographics, I just thought someone needs to do something that's actually doing something. 20-year-old Maya Antoine Onikoye decided giving away black history books in order to educate people would be her form of activism. Since June, Maya's project has grown from sending out a handful of books to receiving over £4,000 worth of donations. Maya, why are books such a powerful tool to educate people? I'd say um, they stick with you a lot longer than simply reading something online or watching a film because it's something that's physically with you that you can digest and take time to read and understand. The public have given Maya a mixture of old books and GoFundMe donations to purchase new ones, which Maya then posts or sometimes delivers by hand herself. Maya says the books have helped people better understand microaggressions, institutional racism and the Black Lives Matter movement. Why did you request a book? I asked for a book because during the Black Lives Matter movement, there was a lot going on on Instagram, like so much coming at you, like via like posts and videos and things like that. And I wanted something that I could really just focus on and spend like me time with. I found it quite like cathartic and cleansing to be able to like just be with something and read it. October's Black History Month is just weeks away. It could be the perfect time to add to your reading list. Maya, there's so many great books in here. What would you suggest if someone wanted to educate themselves? Um, I'd say How to Be an Anti-Racist is a really good one because, as I said, it's very simple to simply not be racist, but to actively be anti-racist is where change is actually made. And then My History is More Than Slavery is an amazing one because a lot of people think that black history is simply slavery and then the civil rights movement, Martin Luther King, um, Rosa Parks, which are both very pivotal parts of our history, but there's so much more that people should be learning about. Nelson Mandela said education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Maya hopes to expand her charity to help schools obtain the books that will educate children to be the change they want to see. Antoine Allen, ITV News.